Hello people of the internet, this is Jay here, and we are going to be doing a Rex Craftia server review. So when you join, after a few moments, you'll get this screen. Join a legion, and you want to pick a legion. So basically, a legion is basically your weapon, or your armor, you could say. It's what supports you throughout the server. S like, so offensive legion are better with axes, kits, potions, or, I don't know, just offensive legion is better with axes, defensive legion is better with healing, swords, defense, this one is agility, strength, and axes, uh, stealth legion is masters of stealth and archery, so maybe you can go invisible, maybe you have speed, I don't know, but for now, I'm just going to pick offensive legion, because it seems like the simplest one, and then you get a random teleport, and here we go, so, Let's just set home. When you do slash home or set home, it brings you to this. What I do is, and it'll bring up a little tutorial in chat. And then you want to do slash add home, your home name. I'll just call it first home. And then the description is my first home. Now, oh, can't have exclamation points. So now if you do slash home, you will see that there. But you have to click it and be absolutely still. If you barely even move my mouse, your mouse or move around, then it's gonna cancel. You have to stand absolutely still. So as let's go back to spawn where this tutorial is going to be vital. So when you spawn in, you get a good kit, some titanium. This is actually a uh, diamond sword. This is iron armor, and you get some cool stuff. What we're going to be focusing on today, though, is the pig spawner, the artifact material, and the art, uh, ultra crate. So, yeah, you have your weapons, yada, 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 normal Minecraft weapons, just with a texture pack. Uh, we'll get to these furnace-looking things later. So, this pig spawner is gonna, you're gonna want to place it with, uh, in your base with grass if you want food, because otherwise you're gonna have to buy a kit. Or, actually, no, if you do savage wheat, yeah, you should have food. But, you know, just maybe have a pig spawner if you want extra food in case something happens. Or, yeah, because you can't really sell the drops. And then, so the most important thing here is the ultra crates. You left or right click, and it's basically a lottery. You could win, and these swords are really cool, because this one already is not better than this. It, this has 8 attack damage, as you can see, under 1 in main hand. But this one is in common. It has 1 to 7 damage. So it can e do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7 damage. And it has a 1% chance to resist explosion damage. As that's not good, you might want to take this sword and go to the dismantle. You put that in there, and then you click dismantle. And you see, you get 2 artifact material. And when you do that, you get that. So it's basically a way to dispose of it or recycle. So. Now we're going to get on to this, uh, so we just opened our, f uh, fourth crate, we got a Grim Butcher, it's an axe, it gives speed one in use, and 5% chance to apply confusion, so I guess when you hit someone, it has a 5% chance to give somebody a nausea, maybe, it's pretty cool, and then when you put it in, you get two artifact materials, because it was, I forgot, it was a common or something, and then forge is what these artifact materials are used for. I have 64 as I was recycling some of my bad weapons. By the way, this isn't all. I just joined, so I would have the starter kit. And basically, you can create one of these. They have all different types of weapons. It's so cool. And this over here, when you uh, defeat dungeons, which I'll show you later, you'll get exotic material. You can't... Uh, you can't make these yet because you need exotic material and you have artifact material. So if we go back into it, let's craft a consumable crate um, and order crates. So let's get back to opening some ultra crates. I'll just spam escape and right click. Steel Qatar, earthen sword. And so this is a Qatar, 1 through 6 damage, 2%. Uh, so it's 2% chance to give uh, wither damage, 1% to get blindness to... Uh, person or mob you're hitting and 10% chance to clear night vision from a target if they have it the next thing we got is an er earthen and sword it gives fat it gives haste one will in use and it does keep in mind even though this is a 1.9 server there's no attack cooldown so yeah that's pretty cool and then an, er an earthen and or ent axe so 2 6 damage gives fast digging one 
So it's kind of borderline. I'm going to switch back to this though and dismantle all of these weapons. It, it says you can do dismantle. Oh, oh, also, if you do such welcome, yeah, welcome somebody. Don't ever do such dismantle all because, for example, if you have a really good sword and you do such dismantle all, then it'll turn that sword along with any other artifact in your inventory, which is what those weapons were called, into artifact material. So, restore is when you're gonna, this isn't an artifact, but for example, pretend I had a super god artifact sword that's like legendary and it's about to break i'd put it in here and then you like if you have it you could check durability and you see oh it's so low oh and then you want to put it in there and uh yeah so basically it uses your artifact material to repair it it didn't repair my bow because it's not an artifact so that's the same on both sides um so now we're gonna get to dungeons I highly don't recommend you take on a dungeon just yet, but basically, this guy over here, he, you could buy mob arena classes, you could go into the mob arena, he could go into dungeons, and you could fight bosses. Those are for a very later time, though, so I'll cover that in another video, so that's the wilderness. So this is Zer, he's an NPC that you will really like later. Oh, I can hurt him with my fist. Oh, I can actually hurt him. Well, uh, so basically, you could buy items like this. Okay, one second. Uh, this stuff is on the second page. Okay, one moment. And you could buy spawners, so that's useful. Um, then you're gonna go to special shop, and that's for a Zerg crate. I've never gotten that. It's ancient and higher artifacts, so it's really good weapons. And then cell shop. I don't recommend using this though, because this is barely any money. For example, 32 iron ingots. You could kill like three mobs in a dungeon easily for a hundred money, so yeah, this is mainly your starting stuff. You have some warp, so if you come over here to the guide, it'll show you warp sir. So here's our got here's our guides. If you do slash RC, it's a bunch of guides to everything basically on the server and then we have warps or you could just do such warp uh there's a spawn mob arena nether and wilderness pvp enchant shop dungeon warps and boss warps i will cover each and every one so a spawn teleports us here mob arena teleports us to a mob arena the nether well teleports you to the nether the end teleports you to the end wilderness i think you need to wait a day before you can use it because you can only r randomly tp every one day this is to warp to pvp keep in mind i'm pretty sure you lose items enchant shop that's not for like custom enchants like i don't know wither two or something oh that's slash welcome that player we get a thousand bucks and it's like sharp five um protection two i don't know Last protection, like you could buy those enchants. Now here is the dungeons, which we will get into later, as I already stated. Boss warps, which are so advanced you'll never go to them, I bet. <laughs> At least for your first day you won't. And staff room. Oh god, no, don't TP. So yeah, and here's our crate. So as earlier, you saw we made a crate in the slash forge. So either we can click on this or do slash crate, and then let's go find our crate. We got one consumable crate, so let's open that. What do we get? Book of Experience, Uncommon. Um, and when we right click it, it gives us 10 XP levels. We got one more. Let's go find it. Zero, zero. Order crates. Here we go. You have a random chance to get any weapon. Oh my gosh, this is a good sword. I just might give it to my old, or my main account. Oh my gosh. So basically, we out of that, we got Axiom Longsword, which is 15 to 20 damage, 5% or 5% chance to resist explosions, 1% chance to, if your target has speed, to take it away. And then we just got a normal bow, which is probably better than this. Yeah, later on you'll be getting, like, speed on your weapons, so you could go fast, and, like, potion chance on your weapons. So, yeah, I will be covering more in the next episode. By the way, at spawn, there's this target flex area. And this server does have MCMMO, as you can see, so this is just if you ever want to grind your MCMMO levels like swords, axes, bows, archery, like it's super cool. And yeah, it's kind of cheaty, but whatever. See, let's right click our book of experience, we just got 10 XP's. By the way, my alt's name is Goldie Ward, yes I know, it's, a, it's my own alt, I bought it. Um, 
So yeah, you can eat. It's best to do a slash kit, but only when you have a base because you get a lot of items. But you get a lot of steak. Um, ooh, offensive booster. These are actually good, except the hunger thing sucks. And I think that's all to cover about spawn. Um, yeah, when you go up here, it just says slash use uh slash RPT to teleport to a random spot in the wilderness, and that press play gives you speed. And this is to go to the south wilderness. It's just a warp. See, we go right here. Oh, um, and this is kind of a PP area. Hopefully we don't, don't uh, hopefully we don't die and go to spawn. By the way, if you want a free rank to get, like, kit free rank, TPA here, slash feed and stuff, just, and slash recipe, um, basically, go to this link right here, uh, just pause the video and go to it, uh, post your Minecraft name, put, like, IGN, and, and my name is Voldywart, so I'll put Voldy, Voldywart, and then, basically, once you put that, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna say, once you put that in the, thing and on the website then yeah you got your free rank i want you to tell a staff member to go to it and yeah that's all for this episode and hopefully you tune back again if in a day or so for the rex craftia second tutorial part two so yeah guys see ya and peace